Hi, I'm Di with Sister Chicks Quilting. Welcome to my channel. Before I get started on this video, I want to tell you something. Last Thursday, I started getting the flu, and so I got behind in my sewing. And I thought, no problem. I've many a times started a quilt on Monday, had it filmed and ready to go by Wednesday. Well, it wasn't the flu. Saturday night, I thought I was going to die. Sunday, I was so sick. Monday, I woke up. My throat was swollen shut. I could, I was having a hard time breathing. So we went to the doctors, found out I do have strep throat, or I did have strep throat, and I couldn't talk. I didn't have the energy to literally get out of my chair, and I hadn't eaten since Saturday. So the engineer brought me some popsicles. However, on Tuesday, we were really concerned about what we were going to do for a video because you can't miss a week and I wasn't prepared with a video filmed ahead. We put our heads together and realized an important event happened and we really should share it with you. And that important event is I have been on YouTube one year now. My first video was posted a couple of days before the 20th of April. And I have had some incredible growth on my channel for which I'm eternally grateful because it's all because of you guys out there that's causing it. So thank you so much. What we did was compile this video you're about to see from all of our other video clips we've saved. And I didn't have to do any talking. But then a miracle happened. I woke up this morning and I had my voice back. I couldn't believe it. So... Just so everybody knows, I'm feeling great. Things are wonderful. Next week is not going to be the Scrappy Crossroads quilt. Sorry. I need to get that Easter Bunny pillow off my sofa. So I'm going to do a spring pillow, which is really, really cute. You guys are going to love this pattern. And the Friday after that, that's when we're going to do the Scrappy Crossroads quilt. So until... Next week, thank you for watching my videos. I finished stitching the quilt. Don't you think it's just darling? It is the easiest and most fun quilt to make and people just love them. I made some for family members at Christmas time and oh my gosh, they just love, love their quilts. You know, I promised the engineer I wouldn't say love, love, love anymore because it drives him crazy. So don't tell him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Sister and I are hanging out in the sewing room together. She's looking more and more like a chicken. Her feet are getting big. He is a buff Orpington and they are huge chickens. She still has a lot of down under her feathers, so she's really, really fluffy. I thought I should start with an update on Sister. Here is Sister. She's growing quite rapidly. All of her feathers are pushing out the down, coming in. She's got this cute little fluffy tail. Let's show off one of your feathers here. Yeah. She's still a chick. N. <laughs> anyway, I think she's a full-fledged teenager, but she's going to go through a phase pretty soon where she's going to begin to molt again. But take a look at, she's got her comb coming in. Sister, you want to say goodbye? <laughs> so here's the sister update. She just uh, pooped on my arm. Let me see if I can get her to cooperate. Okay. <laughs> this is Sister. Sister is the little chick that runs across my video. 
in the first. She's a big girl now and she is laying eggs. This is her egg, the little tiny one, and I just wanted you to see it. Thanks for coming into my shop today. <laughs> I think I think it's time to put my lovelies into their new home. Are you excited about your new home as excited as I am to give it to you? <laughs> oh, you just caught me talking to my fabric. And I really wanted to store my fabric. I had it in a bin under the guest bedroom. A lot of quilters know this. So I'm not the first one, but you can go online and buy comic book boards. And they're this really nice paper. It's coated, they're cut perfectly, and they're acid free. And you can wrap your fabric around them. These are my fat quarter baskets. And I decided to do one of each color that I was going to need. However, I did add two extra in. I added a salmon and I added a lemongrass which is between the lemongrass between these two colors and the salmon between these two colors. I'm testing, testing the waters, woo, making the sound come up. Hi, honey. Please cut all that out. So this is the layout that I ultimately went with. I love both of them, but I really liked what was going on in this one with the kind of three wreaths or circles and the white stars in the center. La 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 la. Don't make any noise, I'm gonna be recording. I want to talk about rulers and cutting fabric here. This is a six by 24 inch ruler and it's, it's Omni grids or creative ribs. It's a very good ruler. It has little specks on the back and it allows you to grip the fabric a little bit. Some rulers have got a lip edge on them like this and you just take it and slip it over the edge of your mat. I just got this new ruler. My bestie gave it to me for my birthday and it's Quilters Select brand and it has a non-slip coating on it. So I think that's why it's yellow. It's the coating, I don't know, but it is just incredible. Okay, now let's cut some fabric. When you're cutting fabric, you always want to measure twice and cut once or in my case, sometimes I measure five or six times because once you lay your little rotary cutters to them, it's all she wrote. It's cut. And the best tool you can have next to a good ruler and a good self-heating mat is a new blade on your rotary cutter. Ta-da! Oh, I'm so in love with this quilt. I think it's just going to be the coziest, snuggliest quilt. I have, am going to put black cuddle on the back of it. Remember, it's my man quilt. And I think this pattern really does well with this fabric. So my dermatologist left the practice because she's traveling the world with her husband. And I'm not about to go to a guy dermatologist and let him look at my body. Mine's a guy. Yours is a guy? I love him. <laughs> Dang, yours is a guy? Mine's a guy. In Boise. I You're brave. Male doctors in general. Hold it. But dermatology, they look at everything. Yeah. Can you look that butt very, cheek up? And they're very, what's the word, professional about it. They are. They're so polite and are nice they? and sweet about it. They're much more careful about you being comfortable than the females are. Yeah. I don't think I could handle it. Oh. <laughs> You're not posting this, are you? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I'm not too. saying anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not saying anything else because she tells dirty nurse stories. Mm -hmm.